tell your nigga never die me Tell my nigga like keep it real and Tell your nigga never fuck me Every time nigga I play it real uh, Got all the pain that the nigga the hating fucking pill yeah, Tell your nigga never love me Till I make it rich I'm the one that you nigga see Don't play with me I'm the one that nigga never touch that shit until we need I'm the long one tell yo nigga I'm the one that a nigga no peace I'm the one never tell yo nigga never fuck with peel no I'm back Yeah I'm back I'm back What's up guys and welcome back to First Institute and it's been a while for real and I'm really sorry guys um, I've been lazy lately but I'm back again with another uh, video which is very very detailed so on, on this video I'll be focusing on the EQ but I'll just go, go go you through like my vocal chain so at number one I have like a gain saturation then I had a compressor so this is not a usually like how I set up my things as most of you guys already know but for this one I knew like the one thing that I wanted I wanted my vocal to sound loud so I didn't care that I'm doing it the right way or the wrong way but the only thing that I wanted to do to make sure that like, my vocal is sounding very loud then i had a little bit of a chorus there just to give it a little bit of a, to make it a little bit thicker then i had a dehesa just to decrease a lot of syllables although like still here i managed to decrease a couple of um couple of uh uh, heads on around 1000 heads so uh this is how my vocals look like you can see like they are not um doubled there are no triple it's just one a single vocal but i wanted it to sound a little bit thicker that's why i chose like to to use uh to put a little bit of a chorus and i made a mistake here because the beat is 122 uh bpm so please guys do fix that because like your your delay will be off your you'll be your song will be out of uh delay or what do you call it an echo or so ever you call it so um right now i want to focus on an eq i don't want to go very deep on an eq but i just want to explain it more detail than other um, effects which i used so as you can see here what i did like i cut everything from here then i posted here then i also decrease here then i increase here and there so i'll just go to my video to my photo pad so i'll just try to look for a pencil then i try to explain everything to you so i just take this pencil then i want it to be red so so what i want you guys to understand we'll say like from here around those area around this area we'll call it our a function you know this will be our a section then from here and until around this area this will be our b section this will be our B section then from here to here and this gonna be our why this is not drawing no more then this is gonna be our C function then we go for a pink color then here is our D it's still loading I cannot see it just the downwards so as you guys you can see so we have our red for our red is in the in a very below section so we call those uh lows then this side we call them highs then um we have our mids of which is our yellow and our green you know so one thing that you need to understand is that those are the lows those are the highs those are the lows those are the highs I don't know what I said previously but if I made a mistake I'm trying to fix that right now so here on our lows so what we did we decided to cut a lot let me go back to red so you can see we decided to cut about th th this intersection and put it on zero I hope you did notice we didn't decrease it just like um, this area you see we decrease it until around this point but here we decided to decrease and just kill this entire section so the reason we did this is, is it is because on any kind of a vocal we usually don't have like your vocals they don't have frequencies 
from 400 hertz to 100 hertz so that is one of the few things that you need to understand most people they don't have vocals um depending to each and every voice uh vocal although they say you have to trade a vocal unique that's what they say but mostly most humans that don't have any uh uh vocals from or uh, from 100 400 hertz to 100 hertz around that section we don't have any vocals so it is very important for us as producers to try to eliminate this area because if like you're a music producer and you also mix beats you'll need this space the space you killed here you'll need it for um for making like when you're boosting your 808 when you're boosting your your kicks you know when uh sometimes depending on how big your your packaging are so definitely we're gonna need um this this spot you know so that's one thing that you need to understand that's one thing that you need to understand i'm sorry so guys it is very 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 important it is very important to try to understand that because that's one of the few things which will help you understand things that you need to do from things that you don't need to do human don't have any frequencies here so you gotta cut that off because that like that is a space that you won't be using so much you know and the moment like you cut this off you are opening for other instruments to sound to shine you know like kicks like your 808 like your bass like your sub bass so we are opening from those for we are opening for those instruments to shine that's why sometimes it is very very important to treat your vocal as an instrument okay let's go to the second area so that's why like most of the time you'll see me every time around this area i just try to cut it off you know then we go to the second um area we say this is our a then we go to our our b of which our b is this uh area so um one thing about this area you need to understand here we are dealing with muddiness so how mad your vocal it is you know so depending on the as i already mentioned previously you need to treat a vocal unique you know my vocal won't sound like your vocal your vocal won't, won't sound like your neighbor's vocal so you have to treat any kind of a vocal very unique that's one thing that you need to understand so so on my yellow section here i'm dealing with the madness how mild my vocal it is and depending depending on um on whatever you'll be doing you need to fully understand you don't have to boost this area so much because the moment you boost it your vocal will be mad sometimes it'll sound like um you know like you're recording something uh from a radio using your phone that's how it will sound so you gotta be very careful about here and you gotta decrease most of the time i usually decrease this a little bit but my vocal i sounded like they were they were very very thin then i have to add a little bit of my, of a little bit of a madness in that area so here we are dealing with madness you don't have to boost this very very much just if you are boosting it just do it a little bit because the moment you do it very big time your vocal will be very 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 muddy i hope you guys do understand this then i can go to my uh we call those mids those two areas so i will just say those are my upper mids then we go to our c section of which i can also say our upper mids as i already said so this is the same um format as my previous one but here we are dealing with the boxiness of the sound so you will see from a lot of eq depending on what kind of a software you use when like you when you're doing like a telephone effect when you're doing a radio effect you'll just see they will just cut everything off unless this area so the moment they leave this area then automatically your vocal will sound like a telephone effect or a radio effects so that's what you need to do if you want to do just take this cut it off just take this and cut it off i'll just do a specific video on, on my next time on my next tutorial on how to make a telephone effect or a radio effect on mix pad so as i already mentioned here you gotta be careful about what you do you know just try to boost it a little bit because the moment like you do it so much that means your vocal will sound a little bit like 
is on box like you're rapping from the box you're on the box when you're rapping so you gotta be very 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 careful on how you do it you know so just push it, push it a little bit a little bit or just push it a little bit downwards but most of the time for me personally i just love to boost this a little bit because most of the time every time i record i really like double um put like a double vocal for for whatever i'm doing because most of the time i mumble because i'm not good at rapping so i mumble then after mumbling i just okay let me just boost this a little bit just to make my vocal a little bit thicker you know then what i usually do here um let me go back so i don't think i did tell you about the dehesa so it has like removed like the silly bands right so what i did here is okay i did use a dehesa but at the same time i feel like a little bit of um the s sounds like the t sounds that were sounding very harsh so what i decided to do just to bring it a little bit downwards you know then i also decided to boost uh this area a little bit so the reason i'm posting this area i wanted my vocal to shine the reason i'm posted this area i wanted my vocal to shine so i'll make um three examples i think i have a vocal i think i had it i have a tutorial on how to sound like travis scott you gotta go and check that out um travis scott uses like a, a, a little a very crisp sound uh drake uses like a little bit of a lesser uh crisp crispy sound and you can go to standard cambino standard cambino also uses a little bit of a tree of a of a crispy sound so if you want to get that standard cambino sound that um j.i the prince of new york just try to boost this a little bit so that's what's the kind of the sound that i was going for i was going for a boogie with a woody i don't think like that sounds like a boogie with a booty but that's what i was going for on this uh, specific um video so just try to boost it a little bit just there just post it a little bit then you decrease here depending like how like your s and your t sound sound like in your earphones so if like like the s sound doesn't sound very harsh you can just put this like here you don't even have to drop that a little bit because the uh, the, the hair works differently from each and every vocal so guys that's all that's all for this uh video that that is all for this video if it is there anything else that you don't understand guys when it comes to eq uh please guys please do let me know i'm very willing to help you i'm very willing to explain more about you so explain everything to you if you want like your vocal to be not very crispy just take you don't push it that much then there's a one last thing that i want to tell you guys i usually use um uh, 80 20 40 every time i make uh my vocals you know every time i make a tutorial i use 80 20 40 but this time i'm not using an 80 20 40 i'm using like um let me just just try to think how much this microphone cost this microphone i'm using cost like 40 us dollars yeah i think it cost like 40 us dollars yeah i think it costs around 40 to 50 us dollars it is a very very cheap uh yeah yeah i think it's 40 us dollars very very cheap because i'm trying to translate i'm trying to convert like the currency using uh my um my currency for my country i think it's around 40 30 us dollars the mic i'm using but it's not more than 50 us dollars i'm pretty sure so that's one of the few things that guys you need to understand so a microphone each and every microphone has its own eq inside it so the way like you record when you're using 2080 2040 it won't be the same way you record when you're using human u87 so those two might have like a very different eqs and inside the microphone like inside the microphone there are different um eqs so you don't have to do exactly exactly how what i did when when i was here uh, when i was doing my eq all of that you don't have to do exactly this because it will depend on your own microphone it will depend on your own microphone that's another thing that you need to guys understand try to listen try to buy a cheap uh studio headphones uh try to get get a cheap studio here headphone they will 
help you like get started with the music production you know then um there's one thing that i want to there's one last thing that i would love to share so i got a comment from one of the subscribers and i don't know i don't know he, he is a he or she is a she but she asked me like how do you record your vocals you know how do i record my vocals so i'll just try to make a quick uh, a quick uh so it just if it depends on what you are using so for me right now as i already mentioned i am using like a 40 usd microphones and it is a usb microphone i'm not using an interface so the at2040 is using an interface but i'm not in my home right now i'm not in my place so i decided okay let me just travel and just get like a very cheap mic so that i can do more videos uh, on the road so how do you get around this go to the def uh, default sound here then you will see you have a lot of options from a lot of options you just choose the name of your microphone so the microphone that i'm using is ud 900 fz fx then you select it so after selecting it you just click record then it will start like censoring your mic now it's censoring my microphone let me mute this one let me mute this one then you just click here then you will start counting three two one zero then you start recording so this is how i'm recording i'm recording right now so um so if you're the one like if the guy or like the girl i don't know who actually asked the question just if you want to record on mixpad just go to this area then you select the microphone that you are using after that it will start like censoring after that just click here to start censoring your microphone then you come here to record i think that's all guys for today thank you so much i will see you on the next one